So I, I want to say that something that I admire in uh, my mother is that she went through all these changes in life. She went through, she, you know, becoming religious, moving to Israel. And something that was so important to her was staying in touch with family and being close to family. My mother was so about the family and that, you know, growing up and going to Aunt Lynn and Uncle Irving for Thanksgiving. I remember those Thanksgivings at their house and Aunt Lynn had, didn't she have a dog collection or a, te- or a bear collection or something? She had she something. Like she had like lots of tchotchkes. Of As a kid, you yeah. like well, no, she look has, at the she tchotchkes. Has like this, this, not bear. She has this like little array of of like rag doll kind of thing. Oh, doll, yeah, some does. kind she of tchotchke some, stuff. And yeah. Uncle Irving had his painting. Yes, they were damn nice yeah, tchotchkes. Yeah, nice tchotchkes. There are some nice tchotchkes. And then, and then with There's you guys junk, taking yeah. over and doing Thanksgiving, then by you, and, and, and then, you know, me coming here as a grown-up and then living here and continuing that. And it's so important, the, the connections and staying close. And, and I like that even though she became religious even though she moved to Israel it didn't I don't think it hurt the relationships no, at all no I think no, that no. it, no, it didn't was, like family was still family right, and it didn't yeah, make right. any kind of barrier I don't think there were yes and and I'll tell you for someone who was not as religious as she became and your family became the acceptance of where my religiosity is and where Jay's religiosity is was a big part of keeping us all together because while I, I yes I could come to Israel and I did and I came to Israel for all the occasions and m- more you know merged into your lives and then I could leave and I go back to my life and no judgments were made right. no judgments and that is a testament to your mother, right. mm-hmm. to your mother's wonderful openness to everybody's life, mm-hmm. and it made all the it made a huge difference to just feeling I could be myself and morph in, and then leave, and feel very comfortable in either environments right and she she made the difference right and that was oh so important. very true yeah, yeah. no she made so. a big difference she made, she made a big difference like when we're not here you're practicing chesed <laughs> and, and right. i don't judge no no but 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 <laughs> you know speaking from the heart there were times when i felt you know, and, and I can say this, and he can cut it if he wants to. I would be, Avi would be. I'm wondering old. if Jason's going to be in this video. <laughs> <laughs> was he there no. that night? <laughs> I didn't he feel to... I was being who I am, and I didn't feel like I had to perform who I'm not for Avi. All right, as in with a, with a, 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 a in a religious way, Fern understood that, and I could be a Jew. And, and do my Rosh Hashanah and my Yom Kippur and, and my family and the girls' bas mitzvahs for the way we wanted to. It was not in an orthodox fashion, and it was perfectly fine with Fern, and maybe perfectly fine with Avi, and maybe I was reading something into it. I, I don't know. But, you know, all of that never became uh, a pressure point. Right. Never became a pressure point, and 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 even to Avi, I say thank you because you know it 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 it, it didn't. We were still a family, right. Practicing right. and loving Nobody each other. Nobody cut anyone out. The way we the yes. way yeah. right. we could all hold hands and get together. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I think was, that's amazing. I have something to say about that because, um, you know, I was very concerned about meeting Avi, hearing about his. Um, all this stuff about Israel and so forth. And I'm not at all religious, uh, but I must say that um, I do remember the, it was at Bell's house, I think. Yeah, yeah probably there, just a few years ago. Mm-hmm. When he was there. It wasn't that long ago. And, um, you know, everything I had heard made me a little apprehensive about 
meeting him since we obviously come from very different places politically, but he was very gregarious and, you know, he didn't, um, you know, parade any of the stuff that I thought that he might might parade. And I think that was a tribute to, to him and, uh, and to her because obviously he, you know, was accommodating himself to what right. she, her, she right. realized what her feelings point. were visit, about right. these well, things and right. she didn't want to see him, you know, creating some sort of family friction in it. And it was all fine. And, and, and all my apprehensions about, about it dissolved. I think that I think that in the beginning he was much more rigid because I think that when you make such a change you feel like it has to be either this way or that way like he didn't know how to incorporate everything in the beginning when they first became religious I I think so it's like he read that this is what you're supposed to do so then this is what you're supposed to do you know so I think that he was more rigid um in the beginning but then I think over the years he realized it's not so black and white and there is more wiggle room and there you know it can be gray and and our family is is 50 shades of a whole lot of things you know and so I think that he became less rigid (laughs) right right right. 50 shades of many many different colors yeah yeah Yeah. Hello. And here's Ima's face, because when Sima was born, I didn't know how sick Ima was, and when Sima was born, I looked at her and I thought, oh my God, I think she looks like my mother. Yeah. And Tante Andrea was there, and she said, yeah. And uh, this is a Kasarsky child. She is. Uh, she looks more like the Kasarsky side. I think she looks like my mother, and I have some pictures of my mother at home that I put next to her and. I think that they're very similar looking. And she looks just like you oh, like me. when yeah. you were a baby, mm-hmm. CB, really. Mm-hmm. This, bring your baby oh. pictures out right. and hold them next to her face hey, and you'll see that she looks just hey. like you. Oh, yeah. So, so who, can tell, who can tell us a little bit about Ima as a child, you know, in the 50s and the 60s? We're all pretty well versed from the 70s and on. Um, Try and help us with the 50s to 70s as, as a kid. Total blank. Right. <laughs> I, you, if, well, she was. How was oh, Ima? I remember. She was a pain in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was, she was, she the, was younger the younger sister. Right. And I remember being at Grandpa Joe's house at a Pesach Seder. And she taunted me with something. And I leaned over the table and I went like that. And all of a sudden, she had a bloody nose. And, and I went, oh, my goodness. All right? And everyone started, you had a punch her in the nose. What are you doing? You don't know your own strength. And, and it was like, I was, and I thought she, like, did this to get blood out of her nose to, like, really get, get me going and get and everyone, you know, in her favor. <laughs> did she oh, ever like you were the older brother? Did she ever like any of your friends or date any of your friends? Uh, no, she Crush never dated any, any of, of my friends? friends. She may have liked them, but it never became. That wasn't uh, the thing. Because no. was I always thought, person. like, oh my god, I have younger brothers. Like, how pointless! No. At least with an older brother, you go out with their friends. <laughs> no, that if that never Sorry, happened. Sorry, love you. Right. No, and, no, and, it didn't. And you also um, never like. No, no, no. We're she, five years she, apart, and Fern and I are four years apart. Right. Oh, but but we right. had some fr- the my family friends, the Fudens. Yes. Right, Jerry and uh, what was her name? It's Jerry Fuden and Bobby. Bobby. The, Wait, Bobby the, the was daughter. The, just push the, the daughter. Just but away. they affirmed yeah, Sally. Sally. Fuden. Sally and Ben. Ben Fuden. Fuden and, and Jerry and Bobby. Bobby was the daughter. And I remember some interactions with with Fern and Jerry. Now we didn't know it, but we always thought Jerry was a little different. We then came to understand that Jerry was gay. All right, but as children, I remember having a little discussion with Fern of like, why is Jerry in the still in the sandbox as opposed to playing ball? Right. Uh, so, but we never right. gay was not even a word back then. He was just different, and not that we didn't like him or anything like that. But I remember she had said to me, "Why isn't he like?" 
playing with you. With the boys. With the, with the boys. Yes. You know, speaking of bloody noses and sandboxes, <laughs> there was some incident with you and I when we were really little in a sandbox mm -hmm. in our backyard, in and I wound up with a bloody nose. Oh. You know what? Oh, oh my you God, God. So, Jason! Oh, stop! You know, it's your family. That's <laughs> right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I've assaulted everybody. <laughs> apparently. What? <laughs> Speaking what? of bloody noses. Our, my, Fern and I shared a room at one end of the hallway, you were at the other end, and there was a bathroom in the middle. Right. And you used to come out of your room, I would walk out of the room, and you would tackle me in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> you really wanted you brothers. I, I guess so I did. <laughs> oh, you, you know what, I would get annoyed at Fern and you because we would stay up late, right? Probably more me than you, than you because I was older. Mm -hmm. And as the car would come into the driveway, driveway yes. we would all run upstairs because the TV was downstairs and like dive into bed. Like you've been and, sleeping for hours. And like we're sleeping yes. for hours. Yes. And then every now and then I hear, well, we just came upstairs just a minute ago. And it's like for kind of like ratted us out. Like, oh, please, how, how could you do that to me? Of course, the parents know that. Anyway. Anyway, because <laughs> right, now that you're right. a parent, you, you think realize, you're so smooth when exactly, you're a kid. Yeah, right, exactly. Okay. Okay, right. So, how was Ema in school? How was she as a student? She was an excellent student. She, she was smart. She wrote well. Um, and then I had teachers whom Fern had, right. and they were so that was good because well, if I was Fern's sister. <laughs> Be as smart as fur. So, Mr. Stahl, I think she had Mr. Stahl, or Mr. Oh gosh, what was in fifth grade? Mick Not Mr. Not K N O T. No, no. Uh, oh, not yeah. Um. Anyway, but having teachers uh, coming after her, and then having some of the teachers that Fern had, I was lucky because she was smart and you wrote on her coattails. and I wrote on yes her coattails. <laughs> Anybody else? What's the prune song? Let's sing the prune, prune song. No yeah. matter how yeah. young a prune, prune may be, his face is full of wrinkles. A baby prune is like his dad, but he's not wrinkled half so bad. We have wrinkles on our face. A prune has wrinkles every place, no matter how young a prune may be, he's always getting stewed. Now that song, that, that, that song. That was from Camp I have, I have a story about, about Kasarsky family, mostly pass, Passover. So we always used... I think we even at Grandma and Grandpa, certainly in my parents' house, when it was at my parents' house, we had the Union Haggadah. No, only at your house. Maybe it was at our house. Not, right, not because it was a reform, house. so it was a reform Haggadah. Anyway, right. at, the end of the, at the end of the Haggadah, the end of the Union Haggadah, one of the last things, God only knows why, is that you sing America. So we'd sing America, but then we would move on to camp songs. So first it started. It's what if, the Jews sang when yes, they were coming out of Egypt. Apparently, we would first hear all the camp songs of Leon Irving, Sydney, and Gladys. And so it was the on a bar song. Right. Yes, and whatever. On a bar. But, but then, oh, bar. but then we moved on from. We moved through the generations. So then, after all, after the on a bar songs, then we moved on to Wani Camp songs, and I don't even remember what else. Then. Evie always, Aunt Evie always started singing Broadway show tunes. Oh, that's so funny. Who else, you, you know, I, what, what I, else I, did I, you do I, at a family <laughs> seder? Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was really a lot of fun because we just wound up with Oh, that would go for an hour. Yes. Yeah, that would go for an hour. It was to do with the, with the mm -hmm. Haggadah or the Passover After, story. Yes, exactly. But it became like a Kazar tradition. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's right. Yeah. Actually, I, always, I look forward to the, the Leon and the, the, the brothers singing. Yes. Right, yes. the, the yes. old camp song. Yes. It was really right. a lot of fun. Yes, that's right. We d we we would s over an hour. I know. Right. We <laughs> would just keep singing, and, and everybody wanted to sing yes. more. We had such it was fun. A lot of fun. It well, was when fun. else do you get together to right. sing? Well, and also that echoed down the ages. I mean, even yeah. since I joined the 
family. I remember at Passover hearing songs. Songs, <laughs> yes. Songs, yes. Do we yes. remember my Not classic story thing. about Grandma Rose? Yeah. The, from our first time around, when uh, we was one of the first family dinners that I ever went to at the Kosarskis. So it was a long time ago, back in the 70s, and Grandma Rose was there. And I guess she was living in a nursing home or something, but they, they took she her, knew, knew, knew. they brought her yeah. to the dinner, they brought her out for the dinner, and uh, she just all of a sudden broke out into some song in Russian. <laughs> she sang a song in Russian, and I said to her, that's a really nice song, what does it mean in English? And she said, the same thing. <laughs> 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 That's, That's excellent. excellent. That's excellent. Well, we want to move on to Grandma Rose stories. I remember, you know, as by the time I was, I guess, in co maybe it was in, I was in college or out of college, and you know, so every time she'd see me, she'd say, "So, darling, you know, do you have any good news for me?" You know, what I mean, she wanted me to tell her that I was going to get married. Right. So she'd say, "Listen, you know, I'm living on bomb time." <laughs> bomb time. That's cute. It sounds like she had a good sense of humor. <laughs> <clears throat> that yeah. was always her first question. Pillbox, remember her pillbox hats, right? And, she had a couple. Yeah. She had a couple of pillbox hats. And, Just a and few. She was not a hat person, not like no. my mother. No, I remember, but remember yeah. from uh, like the bar, bar mitzvah. Bar, bar mitzvah, yeah. right. Yeah. She would wear the obligatory The Jackie O pillbox yes. hat. Yes, right. yes. Right. Right. And, as, and as a middle child, mm. was there any... Like, what was the relationship between the three of you? Was did she have any middle child syndrome? Was there any yeah, ganging was, up between the two of you? Who was in charge of the three of you? What was the fact? Were you in charge because you were the oldest, or was she in charge? No, because I never really trusted you. Like <laughs> <laughs> I was hitting everyone in the nose. They were ratting me out because I'd stay up too late. I, I couldn't trust them. They didn't was it the trust me. The two of them me. against you? No, uh, not really. No, not we really. Didn't, there, uh, it was, there was not. We yeah, didn't, we have, didn't have, have a lot of friction. We didn't have a lot of friction. Uh, Between bloody yeah. noses, they got along. She had, she had a little girl. But what, well, what I do remember, wait, I remember Fern was learning to drive. Here's another driving story. She, she was stuck good behind the wheel. All right? And she was, she was out with Leon, and she was, she was practicing to take her driving test. Uh, oh, actually, I think she was off by herself, and she called Leon. There was a car on the right, a car on the left. Now, this is like a suburban street. I'm not talking about a major highway. And she thought she could go through the middle. <laughs> and and she kind of went through the middle, but she... Like in between lanes? She, no, uh, she, no, it was like Maybe suburban like street. Too. No, it was both ways. The but they were, one was here, one was here. Usually there's the some space. And she actually ran into a ca the car on the right side. Yes. And she called that. Didn't another time she knocked down a lamppost? It was, it was a light. And she Nassau never County, Nassau, she oh. knocked the lamppost <laughs> over. And Nassau County sent my father a bill for like $289. <laughs> and he just arrived because she never said anything. <laughs> <laughs> and she just pulled out and kept on going. And, you know, and then this <laughs> bill arrived from Nassau County. I don't know how it got there. I wasn't going to read that old story. But... Ooh, these are new stories for us. <laughs> these wow. are juicy. These are juicy <laughs> stories. Very scandalous. Wow, that's funny. Did she have boyfriends yes. as a kid? Did she? Yeah. Well, when she was in college, what was his name? Oh, he was a good-looking guy. Um, in college? Alan. No, it was before <laughs> Avi, obviously. Um... Cheapers. Don't remember. Was was he the camp? No, I I Axel. 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 My mother dated a guy named Axel. Axel. Did My you, wait, Fern Dobby, Fern Kazarski. We're talking about. I had a I had a counselor <laughs> by the name of Axel who dated Pam King, the oh, daughter right. of the owner. All right, then it wasn't Axel. It yeah. was <laughs> Axel Rose. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. boy, oh boy. I know. I know he I was know. a good-looking guy. Uh, I. Ooh, I wish I... Fern? What was his name? What um, was the sign? It was an unusual Get the name. Board. It was not a... Steve, you know, I mean, it was yeah. not a... 
it was unusual, and he was a good-looking guy. Apparently. Oh. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. He definitely made a big impression on you. I don't know what happened. Oh, I don't know so what you don't remember happened. other boyfriends? She, I, 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 no? Really? When did they start dating? Know. What year in college? College. Are My he? parents? Yeah. Uh, 1970, because they were married in 71, and they dated for a year. That's it. Oh, wow. So wow. They, they were still in school when my they mother got was twenty. Or they were graduated. No, already. they graduated. Graduated? Yes. My mother was twenty. My father was twenty-one. So when they got married, so my mother was nineteen, oh my and he was twenty when they. Wow. She was so you're ripe old age. In they must I think they were in school. But they were. But that's all. No, they had graduated. Emo was, emo was not nineteen. Emo was not nineteen. No, emo was twenty. When emo, she got emo married. was twenty-one. She had to be. She graduated I thought Emma school. Was emo she was born graduated. in fifty, and they got married in seventy-one. So that's right. twenty-one. Twenty-one. But oh, she had a November okay, birthday. So, right, she so let's say she was twenty and a half. So let's say she was. It was twenty and a half. Right, and then they got married in the fall. And 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 who can tell me how Emo was as a child? How, what was her relationship with Grandpa Leon, with Bubby Lorna? Was she helpful? Was she a good daughter? Was she, she tr was, a troublemaker? No, was she, she was not, not a, a troublemaker. Trouble she was very helpful. Um, she was a sweet kid. Yeah. She, with Kettles. freckles. Nothing, freckles. With freckles, freckles right? Yeah. Nothing stood out. Uh, she was a good, she was ordinary, a good yeah. child. She was smart. She was polite. She was popular. She was yeah. popular. She was a good athlete. She was a good athlete. But because we live so far from school, from the middle school, from junior high and high school, we couldn't really be on any sports teams. Because you had to, uh, you had Go to be bused home uh, from the junior high and the high school, and or you had Hebrew school. Right, a lot of Hebrew so school. So you couldn't be on any teams. So I, were you on any tennis? You were on, in high school. Yeah. All right, then you lucked out. Well, I had a big fight yeah. about it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, right. You're not going to tell that story. Okay. Right. <laughs> Stop the camera. <laughs> Chase is we'll in the movie for like 30 out. seconds. Chase is turning red. I'll leave that one alone. I remember Fern's bat mitzvah. Oh, I was oh, going to wow. ask about that. Fern's bat mitzvah, she, she had this little pillbox hat. Pink? <laughs> Yes, it was rose pink, dark rose pink, and she had a white dress with a pink cummerbund yeah, bow, bow. bow. I, I came across and that these picture a little flat while. shoes, and uh, she did very well. <laughs> uh, but I do rem I, I remember the dress, and um, wow. yeah, that's all. <laughs> um, she she did well, but I re I remember her bat mitzvah and and what she wore. Where was it? It's funny. Want to a Jewish North. center? Yeah. Is that where yours was? Too? Yeah. 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 I don't even have clear memories of those events. They were like almost charter members of the Want to Jewish Yes, Jewish they center, were right. right yes. It was yeah. just starting as suburban, as things were moving as, west. Yeah. Well, as people from Queens. Queens. And right, that's too. right. After right. The, right. GI the, the GI Bill and the building homes, right, that were like $3,000. <laughs> the dollars. Their house cost $23,000. Uh, 23, $23, yeah, that was about what my parents' cost. Right. Yeah. Wow, mine too. My parents told me. Oh, no, wait, it was, what am I saying? You could get a bathroom for that. Like something, not even the town. I don't remember what the what the price was, but it was something like like $100 down or $200 down and $100 a it month. It was for it was GIs, $90, right? $99 yeah. a month. It was like ridiculous. Yeah, yes. yeah. Yeah. Wow. Do you know there's one, you know, because... The, the idea of Levittown was that all the houses were like starter houses and they were all expandable and that's what everybody did. They, they, they built up and out and they made their houses bigger. And there's one original house in Levittown and it's, it's run as a museum. Oh, yes. oh that's nice. I and would go say that. It was never, it, uh, never, uh, never touched, uh, altered, or, or built Does down Levittown or, still exist? Like those does. houses? I mean, those original houses? Yes, but they don't were... look like they did originally. They don't look like those little tiny... 
boxes, little yeah. boxes on the hillside. Yes. And did you have a basement in your house? Love no, did not have a basement. Yeah. No basement. It's built on a slab, right? right? Yeah, yeah. We didn't have it. Yep. That's you lived in Levittown too? We live in Wanto. They lived in Levittown, Levittown when Levittown. I was. Right I think one grade. or one and a half or something, and we lived there until I was eleven and a half. And, and then you moved to Great Neck. Yeah. 